Sunday. Okay, guys, I did some quick math. I think that I've done about 20,000 shows, and now we're down to two. <laughs> this one at 10 o'clock. All right, well, Steve, you know, so we got, we got some extra people here. This yes. is your last 6 o'clock sportscast, but yes. this is the only only surprise we have for you. Okay. The very talented Robert Hollins put together a little something. We mentioned that we celebrated Steve here in the studio earlier. We can't let him say, come out here without a, a proper <laughs> goodbye. So All here right. it is. This evening, the committee met with a candidate who has no ties to LSU. But if you leave a Southern game at halftime, you might as well miss the whole game. Not since 1976 had the Florida Gators managed to beat LSU. I originally met Steve in 1979 when he was calling the LSU games on the campus radio station while he was still in college. Fast forward a few years later, and I had a chance to host a show called Superfan. It was a syndicated show, but produced out of Channel 9. And we were able to slide him in just out of college as a Saints reporter for us. Ever since Bill Arnsbarger left for Gainesville, Florida, there's been speculation. Taking the job, refusing the job. More than 5,000 gathered here tonight at Santa Ma to watch the Spartans and the Gators battle it out. I had no idea that he would be in Baton Rouge for 40 years. When you go back into the early 80s and think about the other main anchors that have been at WAFE, you had Tim Brando, Andre Moro, myself, Jacques Doucet, you take up the four of us, and that's not including anybody else they've added to the sports department since then, but just take the four of us and combined, we barely have more years served in Baton Rouge than Steve has by himself. It's been an incredible run and that in this business, you don't see very often. Kim Mulkey and her Lady Tigers, the envy of college basketball players and coaches everywhere, claiming a national title in just their second year together. Steve Schneider is the Nick Saban of sports anchors, sports reporters, sports personalities. He's the GOAT. He's, he's a household name. You would think I was in Nashville with Taylor Swift herself, okay? Every few blocks that we walked, someone wanted to just shake his hand, buy him a drink, let them know how much he's meant to them and their family. Steve made Channel 9 and WAFB TV Sports something extra special. He's a guy who just goes and goes and doesn't stop, and he does it because of all of the viewers. And we just asked the people, what do you want? What would you like to see? And they were basically saying, we want to cover every team every Friday. And so that's where Sportsline came from, is to get out to every single one of these communities, every single one of these stadiums, go there in person, cover the teams, and bring back some good news. Now you look at all the radio stations that do sports shows and score shows. You do all the TV stations. So many people who are now streaming live football. Yeah, they might have done it eventually down the road. But it all got started with the idea of Sports Line Friday Night. I talk often about pouring into the future by helping those that are coming after me. Hi, Steve. Steve, my guy. Steve, it's Kelsey Winger. He has taken so many people under his wing to learn the business, and he teaches them the right way. Legacy is the network of superstar interns he has mentored over the years. Many have gone on to major markets and achieved iconic status thanks to Steve. He put me in positions to shoot, to edit, to learn how to interview, to learn how to do so many different skills. He taught me, you know, about shooting sports, but about the stories behind these athletes. Started in news and I begged you to come into sports. You went to bat for me, got me shooting high school football games for Sportsline Friday night. You accepted a phone call from the late Donna Britt in January of 2009 about a former football player at Southern University who was looking for an internship opportunity. No matter what skill level you came in with, no matter where he found you, he got the best out of you. Not just sports reporting and anchoring, but just how to be a professional, how to work hard. The way that you're able to tell a story that truly resonates with audiences and gets to the heart of what people are looking to hear is something that I use every single day. Steve always believed in me. And as a young intern in a hyper competitive field, I needed someone to believe in me when I was in that position. And Steve made it very clear that he would always be in my corner. I would not be where I am today without all of your help and your guidance and your support. And I know so many other people could say the same thing. Enrich the next generation and tell the stories of the people in the Baton Rouge area and community. We 
gave me my first start and I know that I wouldn't be in this industry if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't be able to enjoy the life I have now if it wasn't for getting to meet you, learn under you, befriending you, and having you as a great mentor. Uh, you've been there to guide me, and I would not be standing outside of this building getting ready to do a game on ESPN Plus without your tutelage. He has, again, touched the lives of so many, so many interns, Steve. So congratulations on an incredible career. You have so much to be proud of. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for so many people who are still enjoying this business and trying to get into the business, that you've had a hand in helping them get there, thanks for everything. And Steve, no matter what you do moving forward, I know it's going to be fantastic. So thank you so much for everything you've done. I love you so much. Happy retirement. Love you, Steve. Can we applaud for that? That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, Steve. Your legacy is the superstar interns, these guys up here, 40 Absolute, years. Absolutely. Robert Holland, did you put that together? <laughs> wow. I, I'm speechless. For once in my life, I really don't know what to say. But. It's been an honor to work with you for over two decades. Uh, to cover the golden era of Louisiana sports. I'm standing on a box, and that's literal and figuratively, <laughs> next to a giant right here. And um, all the, uh, we spent a lot of time together. When we saw a lot of special things together, and it was never work. It was, well, sometimes. But it was always fun, and it was always exciting. And um, uh, that video says it all. And thanks for being my partner here. Thanks for letting me be your partner here working with you for over two decades. It's like Les Miles says, I love my team. And, <laughs> and that, over all those years, that's my team. So, Kevin? I, I mean, I came in here not really with anything you know, prepared to say, but I mean, I've only been here five years, but I mean, when, being a young kid, watching Sports Line Friday night, trying to see North Riverville highlights, Livonia highlights, they were usually tucked at the bottom of the show because they got their butts whooped. <laughs> but <they> never... <laughs> Whenever you hear that, that but we went there. We, Y'all went there. <laughs> Y'all went there. Whenever, whenever you first hear that music, da, 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 you already know what time it is. And see Steve Schneider calling those highlights, and me being in this position, I mean, to do your last sports line, I, I would have never thought that, man. And just pss, learning, you guys. learning Absolutely. from you, selflessness, Thank you, Steve. patience. It's, it's been a ride. Thank you. All right, Steve. Well, we love you. I think we're I, over. I think I'm mean, a little over. Uh, I'll just say there's no crying in, in baseball. There might be a little crying on the news desk right now, though. So I don't know how we're going to follow this up. But Steve, thank you for your we'll many, many years. We'll see. All right, we'll folks. Do it again. We, we yep. got to go shoot high school football now. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Get out of here. He's still <laughs> our boss. We'll be right back. <laughs>